Hi, and welcome back to Pet of the Week. Today we're introducing you to Celestial, who is here with Nancy Anastopoulos, founder of Community Cat Angels. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for having us. Celestial's very excited. Yes, Celestial is so friendly. Tell me about his background. There's a lot to it. Yes. Well, I got a call while I was at work one night, and he had arrived at somebody's colony um, where they feed outdoor cats mm -hmm. and they had never seen this little guy before he was in really bad shape he had really bad upper respiratory he had some broken teeth that needed to be removed he had a severe infection in the eye his jaws out of socket and still to this day is we're, we're having difficulties getting it placed back in Aww. but he was just a complete mess he couldn't eat at all but what he did do is he walked right up to that food bowl at the colony he laid down and he just sat there I guess until he I guess he was hoping that eventually he'd feel up to it and be able to get something to eat. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And they called you because you were the person to get him the medical help that he needs. Obviously he is now missing an eye, but tell us about that journey. Well, it, it's always a longer journey. When I go out, I don't quite know what I'm going to get. Uh, mm -hmm. When I went to go grab him, he was acting kind of feral-like. Uh, or unsocialized and we do uh, medically help those guys as well all community cats mm -hmm. um, what was my surprise was when I got him home after he had acted all wild while I was trying to get him he was not he's very socialized he was just feeling vulnerable and in pain and scared understandably so yeah. obviously in a very vulnerable spot so yeah. now that he is on the journey to possibly being adopted what should people know about that well he's gonna he's not going to be special needs he'll be able to do anything any other cat can do okay. um, once we get his jaw back into place of course <laughs> and he's just gonna be a wonderful asset to anybody's home He's such a lover. He'll follow you around the house like a puppy dog. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, he, I was going to say, for how much he's clearly been through, he is really impressive how trusting he is of humans and, and how friendly he is. Mm -hmm. Of course, all of this medical stuff, it, it, it costs money, and Celestial is not the only cat that you are helping right now. So mm -hmm. uh, donations are the thing to help, right? Definitely. I actually have two other cats right now sitting in medical boarding with drain tubes in um, that had severe infections due to bite wounds that had to be surgically repaired. Uh, this is this is what we do. Uh, it does cost a lot of money uh, to get all these little guys repaired, but they're all very well deserving. And so what we are looking for is, you know, if everybody could spread our name and get us more followers and hopefully more donations come with that because for every one cat that we heal, there's two more sitting out there waiting for someone to get to him. Right. It's sad. And thankfully you found him and now he is on that journey to being happy in, an, in, a, in a loving home. So if someone does want to make Celestial part of their home, what's their first step? How do they contact you for that? Uh, they can message us through Facebook or they can email us at cats at communitycatangels.org. Okay, that's it. Celestial, let's get you a new loving home once your jaw's fixed. Right. Okay. Of course. <laughs> okay, we'll have those links for you on our website on KTNV.com, and we'll be right back after this.